Hello, it's Mark Laurie for a Tuesday, the 19th of January. A couple of updates. Two positive COVID cases, one at Cataract Elementary School, resulted in six quarantining uh, individuals. That's a staff member. Also a staff member at Niagara Street, quarantining of 10 students and two staff. Uh, that's at Niagara Street School. Um, we, the Board of Education, is still taking requests for those to serve on their school renaming committee. They'll take those requests through March 15th. If you've already applied, you need not do so. Uh, you do so by contacting Judy Glasser, 286-4204. Uh, she will ask you for your name information and also for you to write a reason why you'd like to be on our school renaming committee. So consider it, please. Yesterday, we had a day off in honor of the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday, and Friday, we celebrated his birthday for all of the social justice that he pushed forward. Now, the school district uh, will have its traditional celebration. However, it will be in the month of February. Uh, we we're trying to line up a great guest speaker who can also speak to our students, but look for upcoming announcements about the Dr. Martin Luther King celebration in February. Uh, tonight, if you're watching this now, get on the YouTube channel of Niagara Falls High School. They're doing a virtual town hall meeting, 286-5461, 286-5461. You can ask questions. The topic tonight, they're going to do Talk in Tuesdays. The topic tonight is graduation, our graduation requirements for students. Take a look. Uh, might be able to answer some questions you have. Testing is tomorrow. It's a Wednesday. Students accompanied by their parents, staff members, 286-0788, 286-0788, please come uh, prepared if you would like a test. It's a rapid test for asymptomatic people. Finally, uh, vaccinations, we keep our eyes and ears open. Nothing new to report as of this taping, but things do change quite rapidly. I have my favorite face covering here. I have a, another one in my car. Please make sure you're wearing these staying socially distant, washing your hands with our soap and water and our hand sanitizer, which I pointed to. Be positive, be proactive, look out for each other. Let's continue to work together and uh, support each other. And we thank you for being part of our school district.